Hi there, welcome to the next video and in this video I will continue my conversation about the list comprehension and if you have seen my previous video I have talked about a dummy list and a power list about how you can create it with the help of a list comprehension like this and we then use the expression with the help of the operator star star to create a power list. Now what I will do is I will show you some sort of a condition that you can apply. Alright, to do that what I have is the attendance object and what I want to do is if the attendance is above average and the threshold is 35 if it is greater than or equal to 35 then give me the list otherwise don't give me the list so what I will do is above avg list is equals to i for i in attendance if i is greater than or equal to 35 all right so what we are doing is we are saying that return the i only when it is greater than 35 within the list of this and loop it through okay so if we execute that and say above average list so what i get is the 35 and 37 these two elements because rest of the element is less than 35 so that's one of the way another thing is uh, just one other example i will show you to get a better idea uh, let me get back up okay so what i'll do is i will say even underscore nums is equals to i for i in a range 11 for i percentage 2 equals to equals to zero all right so what i'm doing is if the i'm using this module operator to see the remainder if it is remainder is zero that means it is divisible by two then definitely it's an even number that i'm returning it from the range to the i and then storing it over here within the even numbers so if i execute that all right i'll just see what happens here so what we have forgot is if instead of four we needed that all right now it is good so if we write even norms we get this so this is one of the way by which you can put some sort of a condition now what we are doing is we are putting a condition on i when i is greater than 35 or i percentage 2 but you can even further extend it based on your needs you know you may have the requirement to apply any multiplication division or other operator or maybe some sort of a function you know you want to aggregate that say for example you want to take an average of this and then say mean of i is greater than some number then then also you know you can apply and get the output so that's about how you can use the if now we have used the if at the end of the for loop but we'll sh i'll show you in the next video about how you can even use it prior to the for loop as well so that uh, you can have a little bit more control as well as uh, an extra condition with the else